All right, now that we have learned how to fetch and insert videos into the database, in this video, let us see how to update a video in the database. So let's start off by creating a new method to update a video in video.service.ts. So first, the put request URL. So private put URL slash API slash video, and then don't forget this forward slash. Now, similar to the add video method, we're going to have an update video method. So let me copy paste. And if you notice, the update video method is very similar to the add video method. We have the headers, application slash JSON, JSON. Then we have the options where we set the headers. And then we make a put request instead of the post request. But this time the URL is going to be the put URL followed by the video ID. So we pass in the video that has to be updated inside the database. But this time we pass in the video ID as part of the URL. And then of course we pass in the video that has to be updated and then we map the response to JSON. Now let's go back to the HTML and add the UI that calls this particular method. So in video center, sorry, in video detail component, so control P, video detail component HTML, I'm going to add a button. So still within the form tag, we're going to add a button. So this is going to be of type button. And when we click on this, we are going to have a handler update video. And then this is just going to have the text update. So let's go ahead and define this update video method. So in the TypeScript file, so video.detail dot video detail component TypeScript file, we are going to add the method. Now remember, the video detail is only responsible for displaying the details. So the update video method is going to raise an event that will get captured in the video center component. And in the video center component, we will call the service to update the database. We are not going to do it directly from the video detail component. So over here in video detail, specify that there is output. So outputs array and we're going to call the event update video event. Now we are going to then define an event emitter instance. So over here, update video and then import the event emitter instance. And then we of course have to define the method that is assigned to the click event of the button. So update video, this is going to emit this dot video. So whatever the video detail that we, we are currently viewing, when we click on the update button, that particular video is going to be sent out. Now in video center HTML, let's capture this event. So let's go back to video center component HTML. And over here, the video detail is going to raise an event. So let's capture that. So update video, let me just format this a bit. So when we capture this update video event, let us call another method on update video event and pass in dollar event, which gives us access to that particular video. So now let's go to video center TypeScript file. So control P video center component TS. And over here, just like on submit add video, we have on update video event. Now this takes in a video and then this method calls the update video method of the video service. So we pass in the video and then again, remember when we update a video, we are going to get back the values of the newly updated video. So we subscribe to that. We get that updated video and then we assign it to this particular video. Now, once the update is done, we are going to set selected video is equal to null so that the detail detailed view clears out. All right, so let's build this and test it out. So ng build. Now let's go back to the browser. I'm gonna refresh this. So I'm gonna click on demo. This is going to open a detailed view of this. And let me change this to demo updated, right? So I'm gonna update this. So the video detailed view clears out. 
But when I go back to demo, I should have the updated value. So that is how you update a video. Let me go over the flow one more time. In video detail component HTML, we have a button. When we click on this button, it is going to update a video. So let's go back to video detail component. But as you see in the video detail TypeScript file, the update video method only raises an event that is going to get captured in video center HTML. Hey, video center, it is not my responsibility to update a video. So I'm going to let you know when to update a video and I'm going to pass you the details of that particular video you do, you go ahead and do it. So when there's an update video event from the video detail component, we are going to call this method. So on update video event. So what does this on update video event do? In the video service, it's going to call the update video method with the video. So in the video service file, when we call this particular method passing in the video, we are actually going to make an update in the database. And similarly, the UI also gets updated at the same time. All right, so that is how you update a video in the database. Now, one last operation, so the delete operation, let's see how to do that in the next video.